Hi everyone, James Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, we have a brand new thing we're gonna be doing today. I decided I want to style wigs that have been worn by girls that competed on RuPaul's Drag Race. And I'm gonna style a wig today based on one of my favorite promo looks. I'm doing Crystal Naked today, yes. Now I love this Americana themed look. It's such a unique promo. And I love what Crystal did with it. So I want to recreate the iconic hair that she wore with this look. And I have here a wig that was donated to me from Eureka O'Hara. <laughs> I have it brushed out as much as possible because this wig actually has a lot of like side volume. So whatever's in it's gonna actually help for the style. But let's get started. So here we go. Let's style Crystal Method's wig. Let's recreate it. Here we go. Now I have to like pull bangs out of this because she actually has like, like a, a bang in it. So we're gonna put a bang in this wig. So I'm gonna separate that and that is going to live on its own for a little bit while we style around the rest of the wig. Now I had to also put curls in this. So that's gonna be an interesting chore in itself as well. Clip you out of the way. Here we are. All right, let's start curling her. Now, I actually did a live stream earlier where I was basically asking my audience and everyone that watches, like, what girl should we do first? I also have a post on my community page where everyone's been submitting answers for unique ideas for girls and queens we can use for this series. So be sure and pop over there and leave your suggestion if you like. Or comment on this video. I'd love that too. Share it with Crystal. Let her know. I love Crystal. Yes. So here we go. Let's start curling it because we have to add a curl back into this hair because it's been laying dormant for so long that I don't know what this wig was originally. Now this season's promo was unique because it was like Americana themed, which I thought was so fun. And like what an interesting like promo approach being like basically limited to red, white, and blue. I wonder what I would have done. Like I feel like I probably would have done like a Raquel Welchie and kind of look or something like that. Or maybe Mae West when she was the Statue of Liberty in the American flag dress. So many ideas are like springing to mind because I love Americana. It's like kitschy and camp in the most like fun way. And I love how many of the girls interpret it in like a different high fashion sort of way. My absolute favorite from that promo was honestly Jada's look with that red wig and that gown. American flag gown. <laughs> it definitely reflects like that element of camp that I knew her for back in Milwaukee. Like she could lean into it and like make it so glamorous, which is a very unique talent. But Crystal Methods looks hit me like a Mack truck. I was not prepared for that because I hadn't really seen a lot of drag like that. Also, I love a pun name and that name I was so shocked actually flew on network television. <laughs> I love sneaking that kind of stuff in there. That's amazing. It's very John Waters. All right, now I'm gonna curl this wig and I'll be <laughs> right back. All right, welcome back. Okay, let's start on this wig. Now, I have to cut the bangs a little bit. So I'm gonna brush through these some to get that nice smoothness. And we're gonna cut them because they're just regular old bangs that just sit like straight across the face. So let's do that. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous, she's already halfway there. And look at that little ringlet curl. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Okay, now I probably gotta cut some layers into this because these curls are a bit long. So let's start by doing that a little bit because also these ends are a little fried as well. I wanna have some fun. 10 gay points to anyone that knows that song, which I'm surprised has never been a Drag Race lip sync song, unless it has been on UK. There's a good chance it might've happened there. That's their wheelhouse. <laughs> Every time I think of Crystal Method, I always think of 80 songs because they were like obsessed with comparing her to DeBarge. <laughs> Which also, if you've seen that, I think they made a movie not too long ago. Oh, there was a movie, I believe. So good. Drama. Drama in that family's life. Uh, she's already halfway there. <laughs> it is a bit of a fuzzball. But there's some curls in there. A mixture of teasing and curls. Now, I think my favorite Crystal moment was probably during the finale performance when she did I'm Like a Bird by Nelly Furtado. And it was so demented and so fun in like all the best ways. Also, I'm such a sucker because I just love that song. Like I love early, early Nelly Furtado. Good stuff. It like brought me back to like, like road trips with my family. They always to play that song. We stand a Canadian icon. Whew. Now what I should do after this for Crystal is recreate her mullet. <laughs> But she still rocks to this day. Like they were obsessed with her hair. They were like, she had no idea who DeBarge was. <laughs> 
She knows now. I guess it was before her time. I only knew because they used to talk about him on like those I Love the 80s shows they used to have on VH1. Literally some of the best education of my life was sitting at home in summertime watching that. Learned so much about the past. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't know crap. <laughs> VH1 really used to like hit. I miss those. I wish they'd bring those back, like the I Love the and the Best Week Ever series with the talking heads, Rachel Weiss and Michael Ian Black, Lonnie Love, Mo Rocca, carrying that channel for a long period of time. Hal Sparks, oh my gosh. And it was the first time I saw the word queer on TV and I didn't realize what queer as folk was and that was where he was from. And that's what they're gonna credit him for, for like his most known project at that time. And I was like, what is that? And then my life was changed. <laughs> Put you down a wormhole of all sorts of gay content, like Queer as Folk, Eating Out, all this great stuff, Dante's Cove. Mom, we talk about Dante's Cove or Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark, that drag episode they used to show at the LGBT Center for Project Q a lot. This is like free drag race we're talking about right now. <laughs> this is what we were surviving off of, honey. The Big Gay Sketch Show, Noah's Ark, Sorted Lives, the series. Like Logo had some heavy hitters before Drag Race too. It's just no one knew where it was. All right, now I'm going to tease the rest of this off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, we are back. Now it's all teased out and I'm starting to smooth it out a little bit. I was working on the bang section just to make sure it's nice and clean. Look. <laughs> It just like, and now, it's a little Hermione Granger. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Leviosa. <laughs> Hated her. There must be another why. I spit a little bit when I did that. Oh my gosh. Act like he didn't see it. Yeah, I'm looking at the wig. I'm wondering like, Crystal, if you watch this, was this a hard front? Like, was it a lace front or was it a hard front wig? Cause looking at it, it looks like it might've been a hard front. Like, I'm so curious. Like, it almost looks like um one of those like hard front bang wigs that had some curls in it and you teased it up. Is that what it was? I must know. Okay, looking at the reference photo, it's got to curl up a little bit like a nest and be smooth going down on the top. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's just work on smoothing that and getting the curl back a little bit. Working that curl, honey. Grab a little section. And Play with those curls, yes. <laughs> okay, we got this. Okay, this is gonna be good. All right, let's start curls. I can honestly probably cut some layers in the curls too, just to give it some dimension and stacking. Yes, I think that's what we will shop do. That way it encourages the curls to come out and spring up more. Now comment down below, what does the wig look like to you so far? Cause for me, it's kind of giving a little bit of Hermione and kind of um, a little bit of that really bitchy girl from Clueless. The one with the red hair, I forget her name, but I hated her growing up. You know, the whatever. <laughs> a little bit of that. Now it's just a lot of cutting and curling, honestly, but a lot of this wig, thankfully I curled it beforehand because that's really what's making it is the curls. It's really kind of like adorable. <laughs> like Crystal, I'm curious, like what was the backstory for this look? Cause like it's referencing all sorts of stuff. Cause it's kind of getting almost like Kitty Pageant too. <laughs> like the little Shirley Temple curls, but like teased up and messy. And the pearls, the pearls are my favorite. <laughs> the big jumbo pearls around the neck. Hush that up. Cause yeah, a lot of this wig is honestly just the volume that's packed in the curls and trying to like salvage whatever curls I left. Okay, yeah, let's start doing some hairspray and that's also gonna help bring some of the curls out. Dig around with them. So yeah, look at the back so far. Like the section of the curls are all starting to like spring together. I'm gonna play around with those. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna play around with the curls a little bit more and I'll be right back. Cause I also gotta decorate with pearls. So <laughs> All right, we are back. Now the wig is just about done. It's just missing one thing. It needs the pearls that decorate the hair. Now I don't have pearls, but I do have rhinestones. So we're gonna use rhinestones today and add a little extra glimmer and a little more James Mansfield flair to it because I love rhinestones. <laughs> so let's add some sparkle to this. Here we go. Now it's kind of just like eclectically placed because it's supposed to be just like a gal that decorated her hair, which I love. <laughs> hair adorning. It almost looks like baby's breath from the photo, which is a very, like I said, like it adds that little like toddlers and tiara kind of thing, like a nineties little pageant girl, like kitty pageants love baby's breath or like even those like 
JC Penny family portrait. So your child, people used to do that all the time. <laughs> or I think like mini Ripperton. So pretty. Dip in these little rhinestones and give her a little sparkle. That's how she's looking so far. Like it's cute. <laughs> now I have bobby pins here because I'm training the hair down. Because the hair like goes flat and then poofs out. So it's just training the hair at the moment. That's right, you can train hair. Now, I love baby's breath in the hair. Like, not a lot of people do that anymore. That's such like an old school thing. I wish that would come back. All right, see, let me do a few more just to spray around that to get more of a dec more of a decorated look. Where's my E6000? There it is, okay. Let's add a few more. Gosh, I feel like I'm doing one of those structural wigs again. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is gonna be so cute. Like, good suggestion, you guys. I'm glad you suggested Crystal because I actually really do love this wig. I think it's so unique and so fun. And such like a different take on the Americana. <laughs> like, I'm so curious what the backstory behind this hair was. Yeah, check her out. It looks like it. <laughs> I think it's super cute. Now I just gotta try it on. I'll be right back with the final results. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final results. Da -da 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 rhythm of the night. Yes. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm really happy with this. Like, I feel like it's a pretty close likeness to the wig she had in the promo. And I didn't quite have the pearls, but I think the rhinestones add a nice little flair to it. A nice little sparkle. Yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for the suggestion. I'm so excited to do this series because honestly, it is like endless. There's like 17 new seasons every year. So I'll never run out of content. <laughs> we now have 25,000 queens. Yes, it's true. Oh my gosh. I'm such a big fish in such a gigantic ocean at this point. <laughs> Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this Crystal Method wig. I want to know, what's your favorite Crystal Method moment? Let me know down below. My favorite is, actually not even a Drag Race moment, it's, well, she's already lost her taste. <laughs> Insert the clip. She's Alyssa ready. Edwards, said, if you could lose one of your five senses, which one would it be and why? Oh. Wow. Well, she already lost her not taste. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Ugh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure and let me know any queens you want to see down below, any specific hairstyles, and please be specific. Like, give me the runway, the theme, all that, because this is such a vast, extensive franchise, folks, that I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge. You gotta help me out a little bit, okay? <laughs> Make the Google search a little easier. If you like this wig, look for it on my Depop. Yes! Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Bye! Also, if you like my makeup, you can save 15% off at Kimchi Chic Beauty. That's right. <laughs> save on makeup with code James Mansfield. I'm helping you out. Now hit the outro. Monty talk about the Britney Spears clones on It's Just James, okay? Or so we cover the Stanley Cup drama on James Mantle 2. If you don't click it, you'll lose your taste. So click it. It's going by the